Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 21 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So in this episode we are going to be going into the month of January 2024. Now, usually I do leave a bit of a gap between transfer windows, you know, so I give you a, a few days to leave your suggestions. Now the reason I didn't between last episode and this episode is because we only have like 9 million um, in the bank. Now, I know I've seen some suggestions, and a lot of the suggestions are for players that have potential, and that isn't what we're after anymore, if that makes sense, because the potential players are players who, of course, we need a good few seasons to get the ratings up, we grow the players, but we're in the Champions League now, do you know what I mean? And that is the, what the aim of the, the whole series is, um, and we're, we need players that are ready to come straight into the squad now. And with 9 million, I don't think we have enough uh, to bring in a player that's going to go straight into a starting eleven of this squad, because if we were, we'd need someone who's rated 85, 86, 87, and we're not going to get that with 9 million. So the only reason, or the only way we're going to get players in this episode is if we get an insane transfer offer for someone, and then someone else is available who I believe can do a better job than the player we sell, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. But in terms of games, all we have is four games in this episode, which isn't too much. We have Villa, we have Everton, we have Chelsea, and we have... Brentford as well. So what we are going to do, I think we are going to quick sim the first game at the Sage Malay against Aston Villa. We'll play the game away from home at Everton, play the game at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea, then we'll quick sim the final game of the episode against Brentford as well. And maybe there'll be some business going on in the trust window uh, in between these games, but I'm not too sure. To be honest with you guys, I don't really fancy buying any more players. I don't think we need to. I think we have great a great second string squad. Our first team are obviously flying. I don't really feel the need to change too much. Um, there were shouts for Captain Twanzerby, obviously a fan favourite on this channel. Uh, of course, he did actually go to buy Leverkusen at the beginning of this season, so we couldn't get him then. I've actually had a look into him now, and it does say that he's too important to buy in Leverkusen, and he won't even let us attempt to go for him. So I could have maybe have just squeezed in you know, a swap offer with either a bio and Twanzerby or something like that, but it really would be for the sake of it. Um, but either way, like, like I said, I don't think there's going to be much going on trotter-wise in this episode, unfortunately. But for the first game of the episode, we're going to be taking on Aston Villa at the stage of light. Of course, it is going to be a quick sim game, and we are going to be going full strength, of course. Mavropanos has had to drop out, though, because he did get sent off in the last game. I think it was a quick sim game that we did do, so he is uh, suspended for this game. Concert will be replacing him. So let's quick sim this game. Will it be good enough? Please, lads. Let's get off to a good start and we win by a goal to nil. Jao Pedro, who is on fire in recent games. It looks like Traore missed a penalty. It was a great opportunity for Villa to climb up the league, but they haven't taken it, which is, of course, good news for us. And after that win against Villa, you can see that we're still 10 points clear at the top of the Premier League. And now we're going to be taking on Everton away from home at Goodison. They are currently in 10th place. And this is a team that we're going to be going with. Henderson, Hume, Kawasi, Mavropanos, Lamptey, Bellingham and Bryce are going to be starting in the middle today with Medweka on the right, Bailey on the left, Frenchy as their centre forward with Ricky J. Jones starting up top. Let's get into it. And here we are at Goodison Park. Can we continue our incredible unbeaten record? There is Zayek, very, very good player. Of course, there for Everton. Actually, have a very good side, John. Some very good, technically gifted players within this Everton side, but they do find themselves in mid table. Can we pile the pressure on them and propel us even further at the top? Martinez now trying to break down the middle. I'm trying to cut the passing lanes here. But let's find the man. No, they didn't. Oh, yes, they have found the man. We're diving in here. It's a good chance for them. It's a block. Still in there. And we're a goal down. Pulisic punishes us. Oh, God, this is a poor, poor start. Defensively all over the shot. I thought Leon Bailey had that covered originally. But his touch didn't help him. Look, he tried to bring it down there. It's a really difficult one. It's a difficult angle for him. The good block there from Denver here, but it's come straight back for Pulisic. A couple of unlucky moments, I think, there, if anything. It's just all benefited Christian Pulisic to get his ninth goal. This isn't the start I wanted at all. Good stuff here now, and it is Bailey. Still Bailey now. Can he get a shot off? He does! Oh, and it's gone just wide. What an effort that was from Leon Bailey. Lovely skill to take it around his man. Fired it hard and low. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, it's a good chance now. It's really good football. It is Gomez trying to get the ball in. It's going to be another corner that's dominating right now. We've had that one chance from Leon Bailey earlier on. But other than that, we've had nothing. It's all Everton headed. And it's gone just over the bar. This could be a long day for us, you know. I can feel it. 
Try and find your man. I can't see him. We've slipped him straight down the middle now. Go on, John. You're quicker than him. Keep going. Drive if you can. He has done. It's a beautiful finish. Past Pickford. It was the tightest of angles. But he's found the far corner. It is so undeserved. It's been all Everton. The first time in a long time we've managed to break forward straight down the middle. Ricky J. Jones. One touch. Then another. Then bang. You could argue that Pickford could do a little bit better there. But he hasn't. And it has all benefited Ricky J. Jones this time. Get in. Alan now bringing it forward. We've left our man there. Please don't score. It's a great save from Henderson at the near post. I thought he was going to be offside. I played that offside trap horribly wrong, but they do have a corner. It's the near post headed away by Leon Bailey. Now can Madweke drives up the pitch. He usually can. It is Madweke. Take him on. Keep going, son. Keep going. You're faster than him. You're so much faster than him. Come on. Can he cut inside as he usually does? Yes, he can. It is Madweke. Still Madweke. Can he maybe dig a shot out? He can. And it's far too easy. And the half-time whistle's going to go. And I think it's a highly unfair result in Everton. To be fair, we grew into it as the half went on. But for the opening 20-25 minutes, all we did was defend. Luckily, we got a, an equaliser. But we need to change it up and be more efficient in front of goal in this second half. Montiel now for Everton. They're breaking forward. It's Martinez. Knocks it on. They've got loads of space here. Go over to him. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. It's a great block. We managed to somehow survive this one. What is wrong with us today? We look terrible. Send your man if we can. It is French on the counter-attack. Can he maybe break forward? He's got... This. Lad's got pace here, catching up with him. Tries to cut inside, though. It's Frenchy. Strikes it. Oh, my God. What a goal from Isaac French. And Pickford was remained rooted to the spot. And he just watched it fly into that top corner. What a goal. Oh, my God. We have just witnessed... Absolute perfection here. Uh, good as Look at the way that bends. Pickford watches it go into that far corner. Poor keeping, you could say again from Pickford. But what a goal. Pavon now inside for Zayek. Back to Pavon. Go over to him. Go over to him. What a challenge that is. Go over to him. It's another block. There's no penalty in there, ref. Don't you dare. Oh, it's a flag that's been raised. Thank God. Oh, he was offside. Jesus Christ. Now that was a really close one. Jesus, it would have been all up, wouldn't it? Had a penalty been given there, but we really have had to had to defend, should I say, for our lives in this game. Help him, help him out. Move Frenchy, move Frenchy. There we go. That's it. Can he cut inside? Maybe Frenchy trying to get another one. He can. Frenchy, it's another one. It's another one, almost identical to the second. Everyone is on the floor. All the Everton players are on the floor. We've had three shots, scored them all. What a strike from Frenchy. He is the ultimate cheat code. Look at that. It's such a tight angle. Holds it up, flicks it inside as he does, bends it. Oh, my Lord. I love that. And Pickford, as much as I love him, he's had a nightmare in this game. He definitely should have done better there. But it's rifled across goal. And that is Frenchy's 14th goal of this season. And there goes a the full-time whistle. And I really, really can't express enough how much we don't deserve to win by that margin anyway. We had three really good chances. Well, not even th really good chances. We've just made a bit of magic out of nothing. In particular, Isaac French. And we've had to defend so, so much in this game. And we've done it brilliantly. So that's after the defence as well. 3-1. But now we are going to be going away from home again. This time to Stamford Bridge. It's Chelsea who are having an indifferent season so far in 10th. Which is appalling for them by any stretch of the imagination. But as you can see the league table. We are 10 points ahead of Liverpool still. Southampton have just played an extra game. So they've shortened the gap a little bit to eight points, but I think that will only be temporary. So let's get into this game against Chelsea. And this is the lineup we're going to go with Henderson, Hume, Kowasi, Mavropano, Slancy, Zoracho, and Gravenberch in the middle today with Medweka on the right, Bailey on the left. Frenchy as a centre forward as usual, now rated 90, which is absolutely incredible. Jao Pedro going up to 84 as well. I think he started the season as 81 rated, I believe, or maybe even 80 rated. I can't quite remember, but. Everyone is improving drastically. Let's get into it. And here we are under the lights at Stamford Bridge as yet again we look to extend our unbeaten record in the Premier League. It looks like you know, the more the episodes go on, the more realistic it looks to maybe go through the entire season unbeaten. Can we have an invincible season much like Arsenal did all those years ago? That would be an incredible way to round off this series, wouldn't it? If, of course, we win the Champions League as well. That's the only way this series can finish. But away we go. Werner does kick us off. Come on, lads. Ball put in from a free kick there. Cleared away only temporarily. But we do have Leon Bailey now driving us forward. 
the pace of Leon Bailey driving there down the right side. We need support. I can see Madweke in the back post. It's a great ball to him, and it's in. We've smashed it into the roof of the net, and it's Noni Madweke who gets it early doors on the counter attack. He's thundered it home from close range. Get in. What a ball that was from Leon Bailey up against Timo Werner there, drives it across goal. And it's a gorgeous volley with so much power and venom. The keeper has absolutely no chance there. Nicholas Shield there trying to catch up with Madweke, making the run off the ball at the back post. But you're not catching up with him. He's lightning quick. And strangely, that's only his third goal this season. But it's his assists that do all the talking. Get in. Now it is Werner. Get over to him, get over to him. Oh no, we've dived in a bit too quick there. Go get over to him, well played. And again, get it away, please. Please just get it away. Jesus Christ, kept passing it to the wrong man there. But can we break again? He seems really vulnerable. That's a great challenge though from Tellers. But Chelsea, Havertz. Now he's going to break. This is really end to end. Stuff here. Good chance. And it's 1 1. Jesus Christ. We are conceding a lot recently, aren't we? Up until that City game in the last episode, we weren't really conceding many goals but now we seem to be conceding every single game what an end-to-end -end game this one is as well we go forward lose the ball straight up the other end we try and dive in there we smashed it in at the near post Werner cancelling out our early goal Luis Alberto now out wide for Werner the goal scorer oh no he's been done there get it away well in Mavropanos still got the ball in the box though here great chance for them it's been blocked Shul now it's 2-1 it's been turned in the game has been completely flipped maybe I shouldn't have mentioned the Invincibles before the game because I feel like I have jinxed us big time now this game has been completely turned on its head and it's Shule as well, the centre-back, not known for his goal-scoring abilities. He lashes it home after 25 minutes. Fancy now tries to find Madweke. It is still Madweke. Can he get it across goal? Just try to. Come and get it in. We can. It's Frenchy. It's in the post and Bailey. Can't get there. He's passed it to the wrong man, to be fair. The first cross. I meant to go to the back post. He just hit it at the near post. But even so, that should have been 2-all already. But now we'll come straight back up the other end. This is relentless, this. Ball trying to get in. Sorry, they're trying to get a ball in. They have put the ball in. It's headed away by Kowasi this time. Lamptey. On to Frenchy. Can he take on his man? He usually can. He does. Still Frenchy. Come on. All the way, son. Find the gap. Lovely stuff. Surely. Oh, my God. Come on, man. How the hell did you miss that? I just want to lash it in at the near post. And he's put barely it. That's shit. That is so shit from French. And there we go, half time, and it's been really end to end stuff, although towards the back end of that half, I think we started to really control it, dominate a little bit. We've had one or two chances that really should have hit the back of the net, but they haven't. It's 2 1 to Chelsea at half time. Slap it through Nate Liddell there. Try and find him again. There we are, still Frenchy. Someone, can someone help out, please? Dig it out, please. Frenchy strikes it. Oh, and it's gone wide. Get your Nick well in. Now it is Madweke into Frenchy. Come on, cut inside as you do. I'll take him. That's it. Turn. Back inside. There we go. Lovely shot. Sorancho, what a save from the keeper. Jesus Christ. I don't know what we need to do. I really don't. Of course we need to score. But that just doesn't seem like it's going to friggin' happen. Werner now is taking the whole length of the pitch here. Kwasi trying to keep up with him. Jesus Christ. This is a really... Meaningful run from Werner. Oh, I thought he was going to pass it there. That would have been a nightmare. We're absolutely all over the place at the back. Tellers back to Luis Alberto. The toy mother's here. Absolutely wasting time. Wasting time. Get into him. Get into him. That shows grabbing Birchis. Van Barella on the edge of the box. Don't let the strike come in. Oh, my God. And Henderson rooted to the spot. It's gone into the top corner. And the commentators just said it's fully merited. He can fuck off. We've absolutely dominated this second half up until this point. Oh, maybe he was... I was going to say that Henderson was maybe blindsided a bit. Maybe there's bodies in front of him, but he's got a clear view. Yet he's still stood still. 3-1 to Chelsea. The ball does come in from the corner. Headed away. This is not looking good at all. It really isn't looking good. We've been punished here. It looks like they're looking for more blood. It's a good chance and it's 4-1. And our unbeaten record in the Premier League is over. 
in a horrible, horrible fashion. We've had the floor white with us at Stamford Bridge. 4-1. Barella again. We've been made to pay for our missed chances, our missed opportunities. Go on. Oh, see what I mean? That is a normal pass to Ricky J. Jones in any other game that would have come off, but instead he smashed it for some reason. Got no way near his man. Those are the things that just haven't come off for us in this game at all. Getting to him. Well played, Denver. Down the line. Can we maybe get a consolation here? Can we get at least one pass right? And he didn't even get that one right, but the whistle goes. I'm not going to lie. Of course, it was going to come eventually. I didn't really expect us to go fully invincible for the season, but... The way we've lost there is absolutely appalling. Some things just didn't go our way. Some passes going straight to the wrong player. Defensively all over the place. 4-1 is the way we get our first defeat of the season. Absolutely gutting. And look at those stats as well. I think that says it all. Yes, Chelsea had a bit more possession. We had seven shots to their six. They had five on target to our three. It just shows, you know, we can be a team that aren't clinical as well. And when we're not clinical... We get massively punished like we have done here. But after that defeat, we are going to be going into the FA Cup. The draw has just taken place, so that's been added to our fixtures for this episode. But we are just going to do a quick sim for it. I don't care about cup competitions other than the uh, the Champions League this season. But I will use our second string squad. I will quick sim. All I care about is that no one gets injured, hopefully, anyway. A win, it'll be nice, but still, it's 2 all. No injuries, I don't think. It doesn't look like it. Chamberlain misses a penalty after three minutes as well, but 2 all in the FA Cup against Coventry. But now we are going straight back to the Premier League and we're going to be taking on Brentford again with a quicksim game. We're going to be ending with quite a few quicksim games actually because the uh, the replay of the game against Coventry has been jammed into this month as well. And the floodgates have well and truly opened. We've lost two games in this episode after not losing at all this season. Jack Pedro, it's another missed penalty there. I can't believe this. Everything just seems to be going to shit. But like I've said, in quicksim games... It can throw up interesting results, and that's certainly a word I would use to describe this one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And now for the last game of the episode, it is the replay against Coventry. Away from home this time. We're going to quick submit with our second string squad. Please, no injuries, guys. That's all I want. Is it going to be a defeat? It isn't. We're actually going to get a win. A nice little win in the FA Cup competition we don't really care about. But at least we win a game to round the episode off with. Gel Pedro, Nelson, and Chamberlain getting goals for us. In that one. So this is how the league table looks at the end of the episode. And it's looking a little bit more spicy now. Given that we've lost two Premier League games in this episode. And we're only four points ahead of Liverpool now. Who are currently in second. So it's uh, going to be a very, very interesting run in. Things can change so quickly with a couple of defeats. Southampton in third. Man City in fourth. And Manchester United in fifth. Newcastle in sixth as well. That is absolutely revolting. But the bottom three, we have Wolves, Aston Villa and Leeds as well. But that'll be it, guys. If you have enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.